Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I'm going to compare two different Buna 10 cast strength from Signatory Vintage with each other. This is the 2020, 2020, 2022, 2022, exactly. Um, this was a first fill sherry butt, number 900782. 589 bottles and we are we come in at 56.2 percent abv so whiskey base number 225643 now over here in the other corner we have here a 10 year old um this is cast number two um but it's important to know that this was actually the initial maturation was refill hogsheads and the finish is in a fresh sherry butt for five months 694 bottles at 64.7 percent now this cost me uh just around 100 euros this cost me about 120 euros so um i think it's very interesting that's over almost a hundred bottles difference um here we have a finished product so they filled up the sherry butt to the very max and they got the um almost 700 bottles out of it here we filled up the sherry, um, but to the max 10 years ago, let the angels have a little bit, and we only get then um, 500, basically, bottles. Well, it's 590 for the 600, but still 700, 600 bottles is the difference. So 52 sorry, 65.2, 64.7. Now, from the color, there's not that much difference. This is a tiny little bit lighter than this. Now, what type of sherry butts? Was it a American oak? Was it a European oak? We don't know. Um, I was at the distillery in May of 2022. Sunday afternoon, we did the warehouse um, tour. Uh, we got to see the stills in production. We were in the new visitor center. I was very, very um, glad to have been there. It was an awesome, awesome day at Buna. I really do like what they're doing. Now they have gone to a 24-7 production capacity, um, production plan. The official, according to our nice little book here, Malt Whiskey Yearbook 2023, is uh, 2.7 million liters. And yet on the paragraph, it says in the year 2022, they are going to have almost, they're going to have a little bit over 3 million liters that they're producing. So now what I found very interesting was the fact, oh, I forgot to mention this in my German video. Um, they were bought 2003. Addington sells Buna uh, and also Black Bottle to Burn Stewards, which today is distilled, for 10 million, 10 million pounds. Now, last year, the distillery invested 6.2 million. Let's see here. Uh, 6.5 million to actually have a new sustainable, economically net zero um, steam producing boiler, which uses both wood chips and draft from the distillery to produce steam. So you buy the distillery with stock for 10 million in the year 2003, about 20 years ago. And then 20 years later, you have to invest 6.5 million just to get the energy sources right. Now, Net, uh, Buna is basically the first distillery on the island of Isle that went green. Not Bruchladi, Buna, which is fantastic. So they actually invested the money and put the, put the money where the mouth is, which I think is great. Now, talking about my mouth, um, this whiskey here is too hot for me. Every single time I try the 65.2%, I just get knocked off my socks. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of water here. Yes, my. Yeah, all right, good. I'm going to take it down to approximately from the very beginning. I'm going to try to hit the 58 mark. Now, this is almost acceptable at 64.7. 
but I'm still going to also add a little bit of water here and also take it down to about 55, 56, all right? I'm sorry, it's, I, I've tried these many times. It's not just me that drank these, um, I did bottle shares and this bottle's totally uh, shared already. This bottle, for some reason, I only did less than half in the bottle share. Maybe the taste, maybe other people knew more than I did, but still Buna 10 usually cast drink like, oh, bye, bye, bye. So this was, the bottle share was done very, very quickly of that one. And I understand why, because the nose, I get leather, I get um, dark chocolate, I get a little bit of a, um, have you ever had those like Stover's chocolates where there was that that cherry in there and that little bit of filling? I get a little bit of that. I get like a, a chocolate cherry filling moment of those Stover's candies. Oh yeah, oh, the leather, the leather is there. Very, very nice. Now this, this is different. I get a little bit of acidity. I get a little bit of that baby milk puke moment here. Now, I don't know about you, but I've read certain regulations about sherry season casks and about sherry casks and so on. At nowhere have I found any legal definition of the term fresh sherry, but first fill, I understand. Fresh, I don't. I'm going to be a little bit mean and I'm going to accuse Signature Vintage of doing something. Now this is cast number two and every time I see a cast number two or one or five or six, I get a little bit worried. I've tried, I think um, last year I've had from Signature Vintage their cast number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there was 12 and maybe an 11. I think I missed a 10 or something like that. I've had two cast number ones from Signature Vintage, which I don't understand how we can do that, but hey. Um, a fresh sherry butt could be, and this is an accusation, this is no facts provided, this is just speculation. Um, for me, I do know that in Ireland I've seen it, and also in Germany I've seen it, that we take a tired sherry cask, we, um, when we take, when we get new, um, sherry casks from, uh, Spain, we empty the sherry out, we put it into a demijohn or whatever else, and then we can rejuvenate an old tired cherry cask by dumping in two or five or even of the sherry butt with 500 liters, even of the 10 liters of that sherry. And then you just roll it around, uh, you let it sit for a couple of days, you roll again, you let it sit for a couple of days, and the, uh, the oak soaks up that sherry again. And it's a fresh sherry butt. Is it first fill? No, but it's fresh. And the question is, do you empty the, the, the two or the five or the 10 liters of um, sherry or you just leave them in there and you put in the other 490 liters, maybe as in this case, and um, it does have a certain effect on the whiskey. Is that possible? Yes. Is it um, wanted? No. Is it allowed? Mm, gray area. And a lot of people in Ireland at the moment are talking about the rejuvenating of cask. Is that even something that should be allowed? Or is it something we should outlaw? Um, I don't hear many people in Scotland at the moment yet, so far, talking about it, and that it should be outlawed, that it should not be practiced. There are people who are whispering to each other, hey, look what we did, and we had good results. Maybe you want to try that as well. Um, people telling each other about this possibility, but I don't know there's many people in the industry are trying to um, forbid it. Um, this is very old, um, good sherry that I like. This was a sherry type of syrup, um, that concentrate that I'm just not a big fan of. Okay, let's try this one first. This is what we're talking about. This is um, cast number 900782. 598 bottles just for, um, no, it's not. The Whiskey Exchange has it as well for 105 pounds. Over here in Germany, about 120 euros. Mm. 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 Still has some heat. Oh, God, good, good flavor. Very nice flavor. Got the, the chocolate. Got a little bit of the cherry. Definitely got leather. Mm. Got some of that Buna goodness going on here. Very, very nice whiskey. Highly recommendable. 
Now, now at the moment over here in Germany, I can buy a 12 year old cast strength Buna directly from the um, from the original bottling uh, from the distillery um, for under 90 euros. All right. Sometimes I have to buy this package. I actually bought one where I had the normal um, Buna 12, which is 35, 38 euros. Uh, together with the um, 12 year old cast strength for 120. Yes, sir, I'll buy that. All right. And um, would I buy this or would I buy my <laughs> whiskey of the year 2023 already? I don't think anyone, anything can beat the Buna 12 cast strength at the moment. Um, and I get a free bottle of the 12 included. Same price as this. The other one is so drinkable and so just delightful and just just it 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 doesn't just massage your tongue and your gums it actually gives them a yeah, mouth orgasm i mean it's just oh it's so good and this is hot this is good but hot this is a c plus plus a b minus minus of the taste value for money c minus as I said, I would much better rather buy the Buna a cast strength directly from a Buna Haben and get a free bottle of 12 year old Buna on top for the same price as this. Do I need the flower base here? No. Do I need the why did they change? This was to th my, this my, my, must have been a special one uh, for 2021 because this is the normal one. This is copper. This is a little bit more of the gold. Even you look at the bottom, they have different, different um, colors. So um, do I need that metal canister? No, I don't. All right. I, I have to have it recycled anyways. Um, that, that sheet metal here. I think with more and more people complaining about um, unnecessary packaging, these might actually disappear in the next year or so. I do like the corks. I do like the bottle. I do like the, um, the size of the cork. That's something very, very nice. My wife has a few of these bottles she's used as well for decoration purposes and you can you can fill them or refill them with oils and so on and do things with them. I mean, hey, fantastic, fantastic stuff. As I said, C plus plus B minus minus value for money C minus over here. Here I get the Buna here I don't. Here I get a little bit of a bitterness, here I get a little bit of a acidity, I get a little bit of that baby puke moment going on there. Um, lactis act acid. Um, and it's it's got a plastic moment going on there as well. I do not think that was five months, five months in the sherry cask really did a great job. Um, it did impart flavor, but I'm not sure if it actually um, imparted the right flavors. And I'm of the opinion that um, Signature Vintage had cask one, which tasted different than cask two, which tasted different than cask three. They tried different types of sherry. I'm going to call it syrup. I actually physically have the idea of uh, Soda Stream, and you have the different syrups with the different flavors. I think they actually had different flavors of the different sherries in those different casks and tried them out and see which ones people liked the most and didn't like and what happened there. And so I'm not a big, I'm not partial to the cask number two. So that's that said. Um, so this is going to be a C on a good day, a C minus on a bad day, and value for money it was 100, 105 euros, um, D plus. No thank you. Question of the day. What is your favorite Buna cast strength? Is it 2021? Is it 2022? Is it an in independent bottler like this? Or what is your favorite Buna product? Is it going to be um, peated? 45% of the production 2022 was peated, 55 was unpeated. And what I really liked was the fact that they have now the same fermentation time for everything. Since they are running 24 seven now, they do a fermentation time of 56 hours. So yeah, that's that. If you ever go to Buna, um, please go, please enjoy, please um, say hi from Whiskey Jason. A couple people there know me. Um, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful location with a wonderful, wonderful distillery with great people running it. I have so fond memories of being there. I hope to go back one day soon. Thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, telling others. Um, 
I don't think you ever see one of these bottles outside of Germany or outside of Europe, but hey, maybe you might get lucky on an auction and then you can go here for the cast number 900782. Highly recommendable. I liked it. Bye-bye.